In this Managing Asia series, we look at how companies from different industries are tapping on future trends to meet not only ESG goals, but also to build a sustainable business. I'm here in Bangkok, Thailand to see how Siam Piwat, one of the country's biggest retail developers, is transforming itself in a digitalized world. Siam Piwat Group is behind some of Bangkok's most well-known shopping malls, such as Icon Siam, Siam Paragon, and Siam Discovery. The company is using its leading position to help guide its future in the ever-developing digital world of retail. I spoke with Siam Piwat's CEO, Chadachep Chutrakul, to find out more. Kun Pan, so good to see you again. As the operator of four shopping malls here in Bangkok, how much has the pandemic accelerated your digital strategy and push? I think we have started long before the pandemic because we always know that uh, digital disruption was on the way. So we need to know our customer. That's why we start creating the data bank, which uh, have cost us a lot actually. Mm -hmm. And the data bank was ready early in 2020. Mm -hmm. So that gave us the great opportunity to use the data to understand and to reach out to customers. So that was why we always thought that uh, in doing our business, uh, we deliver unprecedented experience. And of course, it was physical in the shopping malls. Now we are also a developer, but we start developing the platform. Let's talk more about that platform because late last year you launched the OneSiam Super Platform, which connected 1,000 tenants and 100 business partners across 13 industries. What went into developing the Super App Platform? When our data bank was ready, we knew that actually we have to create a platform because the pandemic just arrived, mm. okay. So Super App was created only within 13 months. Mm. Uh, we have engaged many consultants to do a lot of study on uh, consumers, what's the new behaviors, what were going to change, and what do we have to do to be one step ahead of the life after pandemic. How much did it cost you? Well, for the Super App, about 10 million US dollars, but for the creating the data banks, it was about 28 million US dollars. Is it paying off in terms of revenue, in terms of sales? Definitely. Overall, especially in Icon Siam mm -hmm. here, I think about 40% of the sales of the all shops came from our members on mm -hmm. this Super App platform. Mm -hmm. So for this platform, this year, we cater to ties nationwide, uh, even though we don't have our shopping malls in other cities around Thailand. Mm -hmm. So that's the plus. Uh, moreover, next year, we're going to receive members international. So we start within the region first, and then we go global. Mm. This digital strategy with this one Siam Super App, have you always known that this was the vision you wanted? Have you always been the force behind what you wanted to achieve? I'm a very low-tech person. <laughs> I'm the strategist and I'm the opportunist. I cannot do everything. And nowadays, I mean, when you're running a company, I have almost about 3,000 staff, you know. I mean, you cannot do everything. Mm. But I prefer to empower people who know better than me mm. to carry out the new things that I don't know about. Mm. So we have created many new divisions like uh, the digital, the tech, and also customer experience, sure. which we have built these divisions within, I think, less than six months. Mm. And now they are ready to create more experience on the super app platform. So, Kun Christine, I would like to introduce... To learn more about the company's digital push, I went to meet the team. So, Kun Pachep, you're in charge of the customer experience. If I was a customer wanting to buy a handbag here in the shopping mall, how can I use the super app to do it? What you will see first is the content of the brands that have been curated for you in the app, right? Then you will select the products that are fit with what you need. That product, you can actually buy it on the app or you can actually reserve it and get it from the store, 
right? And if you have more information that you want that we're not presenting in the app, you can actually chat with the SA in the store directly. And they respond immediately? They respond immediately. And once you buy either on the app or in the mall, you get the WIS coin. So you use it as your source of fund to pay partly or fully for the next purchase that you want. So Kun Chanisa, you're in charge of the overall strategy, NFTs, Metaverse. What does the future look like for SciMPY? Our philosophy is always to collaborate and to co-create to win. Um, we have worked with so many leading um, Metaverse platform globally and domestically to try and test many um, platforms and use cases to be able to engage with our customers right now. How creative are we talking about? For example, with um, Art Lovers, we have partnered with um, TDAF or Thai Digital um, Art Festival and KBank mm. to offer Thai famous um, physical arts in an NFT um, format. And in Sandbox, we understand that Sandbox is all about gamers, right? So with the gamers in there, we are bringing the Thai cultural Thai boxing um, to do gamification and bringing Siam Discovery to be the first into sandbox and engaging with the global citizens. Will you have a meta mall? Is that one of your ambitions? We're already creating, yeah. Actually, uh, I call it a digital mall. I knew it would happen because actually people were really much into the social network. This digital mall, what will it look like? Well, it depends how you would make it look like, right? But I always believe that when you create the metaverse or the digital mall or avatar for our customers, it has to be fun, it has to be relevant, and also it's creativity. Can you make money in the metaverse? Definitely, but not so soon. We have to find a way because when we create the metaverse, first thing is what's the story that will be so engaging that people would like to get into this virtual land all the time, right? It's not do you just have a playing story? the game. Yes, I do. But you're not going <laughs> to tell me. Uh oh, it's a trade secret. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm telling you, it's a story that everybody knows and it's unique. So. The key to the metaverse for me is that I have to ask my staff, my executive, that, okay, think about it. It's all about emotional engagement to customers. So how can we continue to engage them emotionally? That is the key. It it's sounds, not easy. It sounds like you're moving beyond the retail business into something else. But I will always come back to my brick and mortar because once I create the virtual mall, in the sandbox, the central land, whatever. I have to connect people from that to my shopping malls mm. or to my place because it will have the related story somehow. So you can reach out to us in the digital world, virtual world, but when it comes to your five senses, come to us. So you will get everything at the same time, yeah. And finally, as a second generation, leading the retail empire your father founded, what leadership will you continue to provide at Siam Piyot? What will the future look like for the company? The future for Siam Piyot look really, really bright and shining because we are the company that never stop. We have to be amazed, be inspired, and be revolutionary because we serve people. So we always operate on one philosophy, which we call the values. It's how can we engage people by increasing their values, okay? So how can everyone in my company be empowered and then be energized mm. to learn new things all the time? So my legacy in this company is to empower my people and to see them shine and to be happy when they become their very best because we create history together. We're not just here working. We create happiness to our customer and when we see them smile, that's our life rewarding. Kun Pan, thank you so much for talking to me. Thank you so much, Kun Christine. Thank you. That was Chadatip Chutraku, CEO of Sain Piwat Group, speaking to me here in Bangkok. I hope you enjoyed the show. Do catch our interview highlights on managingasia.cnbc.com. I'm Christine Tan. 
thanks for watching. Brought to you by Credit Suisse.